What is the best type of mutual fund? In general, when we talk about the top mutual funds, we are referring to those that have weathered the market well, consistently making money for their investors. First, with a few exceptions, mutual funds in the entire brokerage industry are devoted first and foremost to making money for the company's stocks, bonds, money, market securities and the like are purchased through the assets of these mutual funds in the financial markets. There are usually three types of mutual funds available in the market, high, intermediate, medium and low risk. Investors who have been able to do this have made gains of up to 400% in just four years and all this with low downside risk which is much better than the bulk of mutual funds. It is UK land with an average growth of 920% over 20 years and keep in mind this is just the average careful land plot selection has yielded far higher gains and downside volatility is low and gains compare very favorably to mutual funds. As the value of the stocks, bonds and other securities contained within the mutual fund rise and fall the value of the fund itself fluctuates, the average value of each share of the mutual fund is determined each day as an average of the total value of all of the securities that are contained within the fund. Each investor in the mutual fund is considered to be an owner of the stocks and other investments contained within the fund and is usually granted the same rights, privileges and voting powers of other owners of those same stocks and investments. Finding a mutual fund that is managed by an investment company that has a strong record of choosing lucrative investments is a good sign that the fund might be a smart buy and securities held within a fund that are consistent performers can help add stability and security to an investment that may seem otherwise unstable. A $100,000 investment in a diversified no-load mutual fund that grows at 10% per year results in $259,374 at the end of 10 years. In a related article we have looked at how investors can use sector funds to construct a diversified no-load mutual fund portfolio. Using sector funds to create a diversified mutual fund portfolio by allocating assets across a group of sector funds investors can effectively create a diversified mutual fund portfolio using sector funds. Thus by allocating even a relatively small say 15% of the total portfolio of no-load mutual funds to sector funds you can dramatically increase your returns. Since mutual funds are usually already diversified they are an excellent way to add diversity to your stock portfolio or to increase the holdings of an already diverse portfolio. One of the most recent offerings to the mutual fund market are known as target maturity or target date retirement funds.